Hi everyone, hope you're all okay, I hope you're having a good, I was going to say Monday, but it's Wednesday, uh, yeah, it's a weird day, it seems like everybody's not having a great day today, um, I hope everyone can hear me okay, I hope everything's good, I hope everybody's wonderful, I really, really do today, um, I apologise if I'm a bit down, I'm not having a great day myself, not in the best of moods, so I figured I would come and do this and try to cheer myself up in the process. So yeah, so I th thought we'd talk about things. Uh, I had an idea to go through a lot of uh, the LARP websites and stuff like that, a lot of sellers and things, just to have a look at what they're doing and spend spend money I don't have on things and have a look at everything, build imaginary stuff up and, you know, go from there. I figured that could be quite fun to do and have a look at their stuff, get an idea of who's good, 
who's not good, who's a bit shit and stuff. Um, there will be no wish on this stream because they're shite. There will be none of the other one. AliExpress on this place because they're shit too. There will be no Viking store because that's run by a crook. And there will be no the other one that they've just made because it's still run by the same guy. So, yeah. So we've got lots of stuff going on like that. I figured as well. Uh, I received something really, really nice in the post today as well from uh, Mr. Ben. No, because that's an old. You all know Ben. Uh, <clears throat> so we have the original Party Patat. We also now have an even bigger Party Patat, which is amazing. And I love this. And we have a baby Party Patat. We have three Party Potatoes now. So thank you so much. I'm not keeping one of them. One of them's getting posted off to someone else. Um, but they are amazing and they are so good. So uh, still, hopefully, yeah, we'll get some stuff going and all that. So um, monthly giveaways went that went really well yesterday. They were nice. Uh, it was a weird to stream on a Tuesday, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, the people who won, so Rosemary and Kyle had no idea they had won. And that was fantastic to see as well. So, yeah, things are on the up and up. Um, as you'll see up above, uh, the target for the someone to win some chain mail is ongoing. So I've extended it for another month because this is such a good prize. It'll be really nice for someone to win. Oh, Kyle. Excellent. Good to see you, buddy. So, yeah. So, yeah, so that's something that we'll go on with. Um, so, I've got a list of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight websites for us to have a look at and have a butchers and see what we think and see what their stuff's like. Um, hi, Joe. Hope you're okay, mate. Um, I will say that some of these sites, they do sell weaponry. They are the mold injected stuff. So chances are they'll fail weapons check. So I probably, so I could hear that there. So for some reason it's not going, my headphones aren't working, you know. So that's good, but I'll just I'll just add it to the list of things for today. You have a cider, mate. I need a bottle of whiskey and a straw right now. Um, yeah. So that's where that's where we are at the moment. Uh, yeah. So there are things that you won't be able to use at Empire because they'll fail weapons check. They're they're too much of a uh, uh, historical rather than fantastical. So, I'm very tempted to pour a G&T. Go for it. Do it. Do it. Everyone needs to chill. Everyone, everyone that's, that's an order for this evening. Everyone needs to sit down, chill out, and have, have some uh, self-care time, I think. Strange fruit. Welcome to the Hefty Fam. Good to see you. I hope you're doing all right. Everyone needs a bit of strange fruit in their life. So let me have a look at the very first one because this goes with um, the, a little bit with the back and forth that I'm having with you've got ale in a can, uh, I'm making a fur nest, a chill will be had, excellent, still eating chips, that's awesome, uh, I like to consume my fruit in alcohol form, yeah definitely strange fruit is in danger, so <laughs> um yeah, so everyone, I want everyone just to chill tonight. It's going to be really, really nice. So, the first one I'm going for is because um, this is a company that uh, I'm in contact with at the moment. One of the companies I'm in contact with at the moment about potentially doing 
Uh, you're making your boyfriend watch the stream. Good. Excellent stuff there. That's what we like to hear. Hi, boyfriend. I hope you're doing all right, and I hope you enjoy this. Uh, if you get anything from this, it will be my T-shirts are amazing. So, you know, we'll go with those. Elysium uh, 1. Hello there. Hello there. Uh, so I'm going to load up the first website. Let's, I hope I've got this all sorted, but considering the technical issues that normally follow me everywhere I go, I have no hope. Uh, I've convinced another person to join the empire cult. I mean, group. Good. Good. We're, we're approaching nearly 400 people in that group and nearly 600 people on Twitch and nearly, well, we're heading towards 200 on YouTube. So things are on the up and up. We're doing really, really well. And I'm in, I want to do so many collaborations now. So, uh, yeah. So let's have a look and see what, if this works, it's not worked at all, has it? Let me see. Okay. If I load that up, then does that do anything? Does that put anything up on screen? I hope so. No. Okay, let's try this then. Let's see. Nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Okay, right. Let's delete that. And we'll try it again. Do, do, do. Do, do. That hopefully has appeared for people. So you can see all my settings there. Oh, wonderful stuff that is, isn't it? Oh, and you can see all the stuff I'm looking at and all of that. Oh, dear, oh dear. All right, let's move this down. Let's move it down. Move it down. Ah, oh, see, that's going to be too much, isn't it? I think. So I had it all sorted, but now, no, it's just all gone. To, it's all just gone. So, chat. I am going to hide you for a little bit. Oh shit! Corvus, two thousand seven hundred and fifty bits. Jesus Christ, man! You sure? That is much moolah. That is big dollar. I don't know why I said it like that, but that's the thing. Uh, thank you so much. That's fantastic. Thank you so much for that. We're going to fill the glass. We're getting up to the top. We're nearly at 40%. We're doing really, really well. And then when we've done this, um, I have no idea how we're going to give away some chain mail. It may be through someone doing a suggestive dance on uh, sending me a suggestive dance of themselves. Um, there, so you know, it could be something like that, or it could be something I don't know, funny like someone doing a suggestive dance of them for themselves. So yeah, all right. Uh, so this is the first website. Let's have a let's see if this works. The chainmail taking off dance. The little, the little wiggle and the shake and stuff. Just don't lose your. Uh... I think everybody wants a suggestive dance from you. Uh, I apologise if you're getting any feedback because uh, for some reason. Let's try that and see if that works. Uh, <laughs> just the, Carl, thank you for the 200 bits there, mate. Um, let's, um, okay, that might have helped if I turn these on, I guess. Chainmail taking off dance, also known as Ow, 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 my hair. I have no idea what you're talking about, I'm afraid. 
Um, so yeah, so we got Mythalon here. I figured we'd have a little look at Mythalon. I'm going to scroll down a little bit and let's see if that moves anything on stream at all. Because sometimes it wants to be an absolute pain in the backside and not really do anything for me. Uh, not be getting any feedback. Okay. It's not moving at all. Oh, oh, it did move. Huh? Let's have a little wiggle about. Ooh. So, because then at least I can see. Uh, also want to get that 40% <laughs> 62 ah there um, right so at least I know how far down I have to to go then for the top of the screen so Mythalon th this is a company that I've been in touch with uh, and we're having a little bit of back and forth which is really really nice um, I don't know why I'm bothering even putting these headset heads Death for chain mail Jesus that one that's awesome. Bits for chainmail, Jesus. This is what we like. So we're at uh, 200 and... Uh, ooh, no, we're a little bit more. This is awesome. Yep, yeah, doing well. Um, right, I've lost myself again. So, because, you know, professional strem and all of that sort of stuff. So, uh, Mythalon are a company that I'm currently talking to. More biddies for chainmail, Jesus. I've changed the voice as well, and that seems to have made it work. So this is good. This is good. Oh, you've hit 40%. Matt, we're going to get this chain mail from you. And this is going to be good. We're going to help. We are doing everything we can. The baby potato demands it. Um, so yeah, so Mythalon is a company that I've been having a look at uh, already. I've been having a little bit of chat with. Hopefully I can get a little bit of a collaboration going on with them. Um, and everything so right so as, as I said at the beginning of, so on some of these sites we're going to see their weapons that aren't going to be really usable at Empire so uh, Kalimacil weapons aren't really usable uh, in the field they're they're too hard they're, it's mould injected and it's they're not great they look good, but you won't you won't really be able to use them uh, in the field. So I'm not gonna have a look at that. So I figured we'd go through and we'd have a look. Yeah, as a weapons check, they are really case by case basis basis. Okay, because I, I think from the la the loads that I've seen, people have brought in where people have said, and they brought it, they've gone and got it checked, and they've come back and they've all said it's failed, it's failed. Um, I think it's especially with axes. Axes seem to be the big one uh, for those that fail. So let's let's have a look and see what sort of stuff they've got. Armor. Yes, I'd like you to always oh, translate, please. Knives and axes. Yep, yeah, I made the mold injection mistake first time round. Oh, that sucks, man. Um. So I don't like the fact that on the on the website, if I go past this, you have to you have to go off to the side to do anything. So let's have a look at their armor. See, this looks this looks nice. I like the red. Uh, Kenton Rustungan. So it's chainmail, helmets, padded play that one there, uh, followed by this one here. Don't do German me. I can't. I can barely read as it is. So chainmail, I'm not really going to look at because, as I will always say, if you want chainmail, I'm sure armory, so your people for that helmet. So let's have a little look at their helmets. See these sort of helmets. They look awesome. The Magnus Visor helmet. They look awesome. I think, but I don't think I could ever wear one in a field. Go for a Breville. So I don't, I couldn't really see it on myself or anything like this. So yeah, you get the Baldrics. This is the Blackwind Nasal Helmet. They look cool. Edward Helm. See, they're funky. 
Oh, look at that. That is amazing. I really like that. Husband face had to take off the faceplate on that helm. That's all. Oh. See, that's really cool. The Viking ones look good as well. The Francis helmet. Yeah. The Gotts Shala. See, I like I like these helmets. I don't know if anyone has seen it. Um, there's a few people with the Edward set. Let's go back up to the Edward. Yeah, see, that's beautiful. That's some really nice armor. We'll have a look at that set in a, in a second. See, this, these have, I don't know if, if anybody has seen, there's um, a couple of, uh, there's a film called Nightwatch. Uh, it's a Russian film based on, um, on some amazing books. And there's a, some, there's a couple of fight, there's a couple of battle sort of shots in there, like medieval fantasy sort of look on it on a bridge that they go back to a, an occasion. And the guy, uh, I have the book and the films. Yep, me too. I've got all of the books. And I didn't realise, he said it's a trilogy. He wrote a fourth one, and now he's written another three. So I believe there's seven of these books out there, and I need to get them all, because I love the books. They're really, really good. Um, so the look of this just reminds me of the guy, um, what's his name, Gesser, who, run, who runs the, um, the Night Watch, and that's so... Uh, it's absolutely fantastic. It's really, really cool. Great film. If you get the chance to watch Night Watch, then definitely watch it. So, uh, what have I missed? Twitch only just sent me the notification. So, yeah, Twitch has become rubbish at the moment for this sort of stuff. So, but yeah, so that's a nice that's a nice helmet. But I don't think I'd ever be able to pull off a helmet. My head's way too big. Ooh. Next page. Oh wow, look at that. Caldor. That's nice. Oh, and a kid's helmet. See, if Abby was watching, I wonder if she'd fit, be able to fit her head into this. Oh, it's made of plastic. Lauren Pot helmet. These are nice, actually. That's cool. These are really, really nice. But it's um, see, this is this is something that I think I've seen this in the in the field a few times. People would have to um, you can beat a nice helmet. Um, <laughs> people would have to let me know. If, I'm pretty sure I've seen this helmet in the field. Pretty sure I have seen that. I think it's a lot of, more of the younger people who get who turn up. So, like the eighteen, nineteen, twenty-year-olds and that in the field who you, you see going around stuff like that. They, yeah, it's been around, yeah, and once or twice. Yeah, it's a nice helmet. It does look nice, but I, you just I can't imagine it being that easy to to see through and stuff. You know, that's why I don't wear helmets. Um, yeah, I mean, people who do wear helmets in chat, how easy do you find it to to actually wear the helmet and see through? So, like, if when you're going into a battle, how easy do you find it when you're doing it all um, to actually see what's going on around you? What's your profiterole vision like? So, I mean, I suppose having something simple like that would be a lot better. Um... Uh, I imagine it to be the same as an orc mask. Hmm. I'm not too sure. But yeah, probably. Yeah, so I mean, if I was going to wear a helmet, something like that. The Spangen helm. The Spanking helmet. Um, I have an open faced helmet. As long as it fits well, it's not an issue so much. Goodies for the Jesus of Chain Mail. Excellent. Thank you so much. Ooh, 20,500. Cheers, Dan. 
Um, so where was I? Yeah, so that's quite nice. Right, I'm, I want to go and have a look at their sets now. Category sets, what have they got? Uh, armor. Oh, the menu is awful. Sorry, Mithil, I'm just <laughs> saying that the, this menu is terrible. Um, vision vest protection is what helmets struggle with historically. Uh, at least you're not going to get an arrow to the eye. I suppose not, yeah. I suppose that is something, that is a, one of the things to um, to take from it, isn't it? You're not going to, if an, oh, fuck's sake, if an arrow hits you in the face, it's not going to do, you're not going to get hurt or anything. Unless you've got an open face one, and then it'll be, yeah, you're gonna get a twat, you're gonna get twatted in the face, aren't you? All right, Balthazar, that's nice. So you can buy everything. Ooh, the Dragomir says so that's that's quite nice. My God, you will clank so much running around with that in. Edward, oh, that's all the Edward stuff. Hmm. See, that is very impressive. I quite like the mace as well. Uh, Helm also protects you from branches. You can uh, head down, run through low tree cover yeah I suppose that would help as well I mean if you like me got no sense then uh, I don't understand how only some of this page is translated yeah I've, I've noticed that as well um, but I think from when you're probably one of the biggest LARP sellers in the world I guess it's it's not so it, you, can, you can get away with it um, Barbu is the way forward. So this is all. See, this is this is this is actually this is something I wanted to have a look at. Ladies, ladies' armor is always bad, wherever you go. So I'd I'd like to think that they've got something sort of in place and they've actually put a bit of effort into it because that'll be cool um uh when when did smith become the donation gif uh he became the donation gif when i asked him if he was all right with it and he said yeah what what gif am i using and he saw it and he laughed and it's he's been all right with it so yeah the one the one bit army is out in full force tonight this is good i like it um so let's have a little Look, so it looks like they've only got really, uh, not too, not too many pieces, but it's, um, I mean, it, it looks like it, it doesn't look like it could be too bad. I don't know if, if um, any women watching have seen, have bought anything from Mithalon at all. And know about how they um uh lady armor time yes yeah i know i thought i'd have a look at this just to bring attention to it more than anything um it doesn't look it doesn't look massively bad for, well this one doesn't but let's have it see if they've got um any clank at all because i don't think they do it all looks leather yeah, that's 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 it. That's that's women's armor. One page. The men had seven. Hi, John. I'm good, mate. I'm good, buddy. Uh. Oh yes, I am. We didn't see that. You can ignore that. All right. Um. Plate. There we go. <laughs> Fucking hell. Sorry. Right, then let's have a look at this then. So the, the, the leather looked all right. Oh. What? 
I don't... Was that the front? Okay. Because all a woman needs to cover is her boobs, I guess. <sighs> Disappointing. Okay, that's looks a little bit better. With everything on, I guess. That uh, looks... Oh, that looks cool. Can it... Is it going to load? Or is the channel going to slow down? Yeah, real breastplate. Yes, exactly. Um, overall, it's awful. Yeah, exactly, Becca. It's awful. Um, why can't they... So, you're going to have to educate me on this one. It, yeah, that's it. Is this is it is disappointing. Um, well done. Let me go to the leather armor quickly, and because there was one down here. So if we, if we go this, we can just uh, uh, get more pictures. Is there anyone wearing it? Because that would be cool. Nope. Okay, no one wearing it. So. The le the leather armor you can you've got the chest you've got the shoulders you've got everything is covered. Why can't they do that with plate? I mean, obviously, I don't I don't know if Mithlon make all of this themselves. But why can't people do that with with plate mail too? Because as the, for those who go to em who've been to Empire and stuff like that. There are women who fight there in full plate, and they're terrifying to fight against. And they, their, their, their armor is amazing. But I think it sounds like it might have to get specially made. So this is going to be the theme for this evening. We're going to find out which website does women the best women's armor. There we go. That's our goal for this evening. I think. Uh, real breastplate is disappointing. Titty. Thank you, Don. So frustrating because some bits are nice and some bits of the Mina and Nina sets, but then the boob plates. Yeah, how is that an entire armor set exactly, Josh? Like each to their own, but I would like more options than plate bikini. I did. I'm not going to name the site because I've forgotten it, so I can't name it. But I did see them off some place offering women's chainmail, and it was just a bikini. That was their women's chainmail. I'll have to fish that one out. Um. It's like they've just made it with the idea that guys might uh, buy it for their girlfriends, which is problematic on so many levels. Yep. They usually get the plate direct from Meg or Areco. Areco? Areco? I reckon I borrow husband faces. Uh, did everyone see the thing on Mithlin's Instagram where they advertised that they were making a unisex armour and it looked great in the previews? No, I have not seen that. Um, I wonder if it's on... No, it doesn't look like it's on here. So, right, let's step away from the armour then and let's have a look at the draperies. Cloaks and capes. Let's have a look and see what they got. Ooh. Oh. Okay, I've seen something I disagree with already. <laughs> So I'm not going to go onto that image. Okay, so that's quite cool. Aaron, oh, oh. That's quite funky. 50 quid, or 50 euros, cloak, belt, and a drinking horn. Yeah, that's quite nice. So for 50 euros, you'd think that's, that's going to be what? Four, uh, no. no, I just said 50 quid. Drinking horn to scale. Mm. Uh, so I wonder... Oh, it doesn't say what size the belt is. Or anything. 
in production. But that's quite nice. That'd be... I think for a new player, that would be something that'd be quite worth doing. Um, oh, let me scroll back up and chat a little bit. Um, do, do, um, and when they did the proper throat shoot, it was so bad, it was massive. Oh, uh, I did see a seller who makes uh, proper armor. I'll try to find it again. Awesome. Uh, I know a few find the style very gender affirming, gender euphoric, but uh, when you have bigger boobs, I don't think the style would be comfortable. No. Uh, isn't all armor unisex? I, no, I don't. I, I wouldn't like to say it is. I don't know enough about armor. Um, but I would say that if a woman wanted to wear my armor and she didn't have really big boobs then she'd probably be able to fit into it or she'd have to be cons well, a lot slimmer than me and we could do it in but i'd hate to think of how uncomfortable it would make a woman feel to have that pressure um on the chest and stuff so um but i'm i'm open to learn i'm, I, I'm open to be educated on this um I find it stick in the Discord. Um, as Armour doesn't need to brush it. Uh, women have the same weakness to arrows as men. Why wouldn't they need to protect those spots too? Uh, plate armor is unisex. To be honest, uh, these websites don't need to make bu bu uh, bikini plate. No, you may get decent armor size for women, but one of the Bohurt websites, uh, it's not going to look feminine, but it will stop someone killing you with a hammer. Yeah, you think, but because they literally only have two sizes, this thing was enormous on her. Um, yeah. Uh, good evening, you beautiful man. Hi, Andy. How you doing, mate? I hope you're all right. Um, right. So let's let's have a look. So I quite like that. I think that would be a nice something a nice set to do. Um, so let's get back. So there's a few things like that. And it's all very similar, to be honest, isn't it? Oh. Von Cloak. That looks quite interesting. Look at that collar. See, there you go. Kyle. Kyle. I can see Kyle in a cloak like this. Look at that. But then again, it's not as nice as the cloak Kyle just had made. Uh, I'm getting there hoping you're well. Sorry to trouble. I just thought I'd join you if that's okay. Of course, mate. Of course, Andy. That's always... You, you are always welcome, my friend. Always welcome. Uh, but yeah, that's quite nice as well. And that's an interesting one. That's quite cool. Yeah. Yeah. Right, equipment. Let's see what they've got here. Ooh, lots of stuff. So camping, gloves, craft materials, do it yourself. Um, so fabrics and leather. These bloody menus are awful. I hate them. Um, canvas, Ooh, leather straps. Suede skin. It's nice that they've got that sort of stuff going on as well. I quite like that. The gloves. I'm a big fan of gloves. That LARP. Carl's cloak is amazing. It it is. It's absolutely incredible. I, I cannot wait to see him in character. I really can't. To see him come wandering around Anvil and just to see him telling someone off. He's going to be like... Um, like a like a a private school headmaster from the sixties or sixties seventies, isn't he? He's gonna be walking around, just like uh, and then beating people with a stick because they're not doing virtues properly. You are not virtuous enough. I can just see him doing it. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Um, yeah, that collar was really really cool. Uh, these gloves, I like the gloves. Not so much those. 
They're cool. Clem and Brown gloves. They're really funky. Oh, look at these. These gloves are beautiful. Uh, with a close sports bra, silhouette like an MMA fighter or a hammer thrower, a femme body person should be the right shape to fit armour. Sizes and proportions might be off for the slight folk or folk with wide hips. A well-fitting femme plate harness tends to be multi-piece torso as a result. Okay. Okay. That's it. That's good. That's good to know. So whereas a guy, so for me then it's just a couple of pieces, glue it on, you're done. So for femme presenting, um, it's a it's a few pieces. That was sort of, and that helps with the fit and angles and everything like that. Okay, that's cool. That that's good to know. Thank you, husband face. Um, there should be post lockdown armor available now, which is three times wider <laughs> around the lower torso than it is around the. Yeah. Um, it's the length often I find in the Mithlon one I mentioned. It looks cool in the previews, but then in the second photo, it's obviously too long for her, like the waist of the cuirass on her hips. Yeah. So yeah, these gloves are really nice. I really like these gloves. Um, I have those black ones. Um, how much are they here? They cost me 15 quid um, in the field. Exactly the same. 15 quid in the field. Um, and I have cut uh, the fingers off, the fingertips off of them. 2,000 euros. Twenty four eighty nine. Oh, my God, Andy. Um, yeah, they're really, really nice. Really, really comfortable. Really, really warm as well. Uh, large breastplates are famous for being uncomfortably long, even for um, a masculine bodied folk. Yeah. Yeah, I do like these gloves a lot. Really, really do. Uh... Sword scabbards. Let's see what sort of stuff they do for these. Eh. They're nice. Oh, these are cool. These are cool. I think I, I've seen a few people make their own and actually fill them properly. Uh, Yet yeah, the solution here really is just flat out more sizes. We don't need special lady armor. We need better sizes. Isn't there someone who makes plate armor and used to turn up in into the field with like their anvil and everything like that? Um, Robbie had such a hard time with his armor as it would just wreck his shoulders after a while. Yeah, um, if if your armor not doesn't fit properly, I mean, I'm in my uh, this is a real humble brag. My shoulders and my arms are big. My chest. Not so much. So when I have stuff done up um, to fit my chest and my gut, it's too white rose apparel. That's the one. That's the one where I got the my uh, the glove from. Uh, yeah, really, really good place. So my armor when I put it on and it it rubs underneath here. So it's I come back my I'm bruised black and blue underneath my arms and on this part of my um, my chest and upper body and stuff. Um, I've modded a lot of plate as it just doesn't fit a lot of people. Um, I'm all right with mine because if I'm come back and I'm covered in bruises, I've had a good weekend in my eyes. So that's that's good for me. Um, but I like these, I like these uh, the scabbards and stuff. These are really nice. So if I used a sword, it'd be great. Um, but it's well weapon holder. Mm. Yeah. There we go. Just the ring holders there. Yes. Nice and simple. Bits for the bit guard. Bits for the bit guard. Thank you, Lady Pigeon. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, yeah, so there is some stuff there. So let's have a look at quivers because I'm going to have a look at quivers and then back holders. 
and then we'll have a quick look at the sale and then we'll go on to the next website. Um, so, quivers. Yeah. Oh, there we go. 40 euro. I tell you what, that, <laughs> this menu is really doing my, doing my nut in. Um, five arrows in that maybe. If you're lucky. There's some good, really good stuff here, but there's also some not great stuff here. I tell you what, if Mithalon come along and watch this, as I'm doing all of this, there ain't no collaboration happening there. They won't work with me now. Um, oh, I've lost it all now. Back systems. Let's have a quick look here as well. Because this is what a lot of people are talking about. I saw one uh, for someone I know, and she had um, a couple a couple of back uh, things made for her back. So for her lower back, so the knives went in, so she pull it out and she pull them down, and that worked incredibly well. But I believe that they were that was quite expensive. Holding off the caster gear sword. So this is this is all okay, but. That's not coming out if if you need yeah you can't you can't do it properly you can't do it properly you need a two handed sword and you have the one where you sort of you pick it up a little bit and then you move it and then you pull it out properly that's that's really it it's it's absolute it's an absolute pain all right sale let's have a look see what they got on sale vouchers. They're quite nice. Nice and simple. Really simple. So there, there is stuff here. So I like these. There is, there's a lot of stuff here that's really, really nice. That would fit. Oh dear. <laughs> It, it's um, uh, can you tell an extended conversation about play and how badly you've... yes yes we can Jem we can do you know of any LARP merchants that provide a starter bundle like base layers i.e. shirts and pants maybe an accessory yes I do yes we do uh, strange fruit um, I have to make most of my kit these days uh, as I feel I'm going to be spending money on stuff that is too small Andy, you're like eight foot tall. You're huge. You're big. You're not small. So I think you pay more for things than I would uh, as well. But your kit is, your, all your kit is amazing. So um, yeah, uh, LARP, LARPing, I've got LARPing up. We'll, we'll go and, we'll, we, we'll do LARPing next then, I think. Um, uh, all that said, I have their Adam Grieve embraces and they're great. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's get rid of Mythalon. Let's go to Larpin and have a look at their stuff here. Oh, this is cool. So nothing's falling down at me here. There'll probably be a lot of similar stuff as well. Yeah, because I think I've got these. Hmm. Really nice. Uh, okay, costume. Starter kits. There we go. There you go, strange fruit. There we go, right for you here. Okay, so. Lark Deluxe accessory starter in brown and in... I oh, say so this is... Okay. So it looks like they've only got... Uh, we are aware that the concept could be quite daunting to new players, blah, blah, blah. 
this Dulac Pax provides a set of items that we personally use. So a belt, a bag, and a scabbard. So that's all you get in it. I say that's all you get in it. I think Dark Blade do a similar sort of set as well. And that, that's really, really nice. So it looks like they've got rid of uh, their other stuff. Um, some of the LARPing Nation stuff is pushing the brief. Yeah. Um, is Arm Street on the list? Uh, yeah, you would have thought I would have put Arm Street on there, wouldn't you? Uh, no, it, it's not. But I can I can put it on there. I mean, we're going for 50 minutes. We're only on to our second one. Doing well. So it looks like the starter kits is just... It's not actually a starter kit. It's more an accessory bundle. Um, so whereas if I go to Dark Blades... So let's have a look at their specials. So here we go. So this is what Dark Blade have got. Uh, Arm Street stuff looks awesome, but makes my wallet sad. Um, yeah, I think you need a belt, pouch, shirt, trousers as a basic set. Yep, definitely. Um, so yeah, Strange Fruit. This might be a better thing for you to look at because um, because I've bought these. I've bought a few of these actually to give away to people. So I think I've actually done this combo set here and done this as a giveaway um, a couple of times now. So this this works so well for people. Uh, it's a really, really nice set. Um, Tim, who runs the site, does some really, really good stuff. He really does. And he puts a lot of care and love into it all. So... Um, so the Assassin's Assortment Box. Oh. Chronicler's Choice. So pouches, pens, scroll tube. So there's loads of stuff here. So this combo deal, that's nice. Oh, there's loads of stuff. I'm not just picking it up because I really like Dark Blade stuff, but Tim's obviously thought about this a lot. It's really, really good. Really good. Um... Uh, I feel like the answer stuff you could commission something similar for the same cheaper, more than likely, uh, which is annoying as they do aesthetically lovely stuff. Yeah, Arm Street is very pretty, but it is more expensive. It's nice as a treat. I'm very tempted by the water flowers. Let me give me two seconds then. Uh, so that one. Right, let me just remove that. Arm Street. Oh yeah, Arm Street. Yeah. There we go. Um yeah, see Arm Arm Street are really good. They're based out of Eastern Eastern Europe. They they and they make Arm Street loves you, now we can charge you in your currency. That's awesome. Cool, look at that, get up. So clothing I want it'd be good if place if these places did more sets of things just to say here have this this is a this is a basic entry into everything it's really cool see that arm is nice so medieval clothing so there you go it's a silly hat Uh, Dark Blade is my big advice to new players. Yeah, I will always say Dark Blade. Um, yeah, Tim is MVP. Uh, Dark Blade is a fantastic place to go if you're getting started. I've enjoyed things I bought from Dark Blade. Yes. Uh, look at the themes tab on LARPing. There's a profound decision part. Is there? Themes. Profound decisions. Ooh, right, this is cool. So I think I'm gonna sneeze. We'll go through this. Um, I've really, I really enjoy thinking of Dublin. Uh, 
I would say I've got my Gamson from Arm Street and it fits like a glove. I would say, let's say it's the best of kit. It's a lovely Gamby. Uh, look at the collections at the top. Oh, what, on Arm Street? We'll go back to Arm Street in a second and we'll have a look at their, um, their stuff. So let's, let's, uh, let's go to Navarre. Let's have a look at Navarre. Okay. It's a lot of pouches. Uh, so your hero belt, what could do with medieval blouse, Viking trousers, hero pants. So it's not too bad. You can 100% commission stuff from a UK seller for a similar price, cheaper than Arm Street. We'll go and have a look at Varushka then, Andy. In a we'll do Varushka next. So that's a nice, that's a nice bag. These are nice bags. There's, See, for me, it doesn't really scream like, oh, look, Navarre and things. It's more, this is, I think, I reckon if we clicked, if we went through all of the nations, there we go, we're going to see a lot of the same stuff. In fact, everything we've seen so far has been in cross all of the nations. So... See, I wouldn't have said that was Varushka at all. The puffed sleeve shirt. Okay. So there is exactly. Thank you, Andy. <laughs> yes. So there is there is stuff here. I, I think what they've done is they have just a lot of people have just put things in. Um. Here we go then. Let's let's go for Dawn. The Orcs Nation is pretty bad, is it? Oh dear. Okay, should we have? A, we'll go through one page in all of the nations then. Just have a look. See, this is all the same so far. And this was meant to be. Was this Dawn? Dawn. all the same in it a lot of Lord of the Rings type stuff yeah it's all the same oh see these could be tailored so much more see what they could have done here is that they could have just said um his oh right okay so I, yeah there's a whole bunch of folks uh, in the discord who can advise you yeah definitely um yeah so this is the brass coat brass coast uh, i like those trousers <laughs> See, what they could have just done here is that they could have just said, here is some very, very basic Empire kit. This will be basic across the board. So, so brown leg wraps, black hero pants. But, I mean, yeah, you, you're in chat, and you are right. This is, you're sh shouting black is wrong um, and all of this. So, Right, I'm going to say this. Black isn't a no-no in the Brass Coast. You can wear black, but you don't wear all black. You can wear black gloves, black shoes, and stuff like that. It's just the symbol of, isn't it, foreboding and death and bad things and stuff like that. So it's not a big, everything is, yeah, you don't, don't wear black. Because there are people who I do see in the Brass Coast who do wear black. So uh, LARPing really leaves a lot on the table with that curation, especially as there's other stuff on their site which could go into those categories. That's the thing. I think they they could curate this so much more. They could do 
I think a lot of these places could do so much more across the board. They could just say, Profound Decisions, Empire, here is a very, very basic... Uh, probably on the first page is a pretty bad move, though. Oh, 100%. 100%. That isn't amazing at all. Um, they could have said, this is basic kit for all of Empire. And then gone, from here, move on into this area here. So if you want a brass coast, here, have a look at these things. These are brightly colored. These are this, 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 and this. And they could even do a little bit of, this is a meaning behind it all. Then they could go on from there. Um, so yeah, they could, if someone went into the brass coast and went out and bought the blue shirt, um, the black trousers, the brown leg wraps and stuff like that, I'd immediately look at them and think, you going Navar? You going Steiner? I wouldn't immediately go, oh, you're brass coast things like that there's there, I mean there's a lot of crossover with a, a lot of the nations but for me this is it's not amazing is it unfortunately oh it's a shame but they could take all of it and just say here is basic kit for Empire and it would be a really good thing to do they could say to people if you fit into these nations, you need trousers, dress, shirt, leg wraps, belt, pouches. Boom, 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 boom. 70 quid. There you go. 70, 80, 90 quid. Boom. This is all your stuff. Instead of just going, here's all of this sort of stuff. Oh man. Right, let's cheer ourselves up. Let's go let's go to um let's go back to Dark Blade. Because his stuff's just great. Okay, go back to the beginning, please. Come on, Tinterwebs, work for me. Thank you. So, so Tim's done a lot of new stuff and it's it's really, really good. Uh, if I ran LARPing, I'd email PD to see if anyone would be willing to curate a list of stock to each nation in exchange for a percentage sales from those lists. Um, why don't I just con contact LARPing and offer it on behalf of the Hefty fam? and say, we can use your website and we could curate an entire list for you and we could do it all for them. And then we'd see if they'd be willing to donate some stuff as a payment and we could go through that way. There's no harm in asking, is there, I guess? Get a discount code, yep. Yep, we'll do that. I'll, um, we'll put something together and we can, we'll contact LARP and and the hefty fan can curate their empire list for them. <laughs> we'll do that. So, because um, I think LARPing have got so much good stuff. They've got a lot of good stuff, but it's all just in the wrong place. That's how it feels. So, I think we could do that. I think we could do that. That'd be nice. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of LARPing off the list. No, we'll get rid of them. Uh, so yeah, Dark Blade. So this is something for a lot of people that have been going out. So Dark Blade's healers stuff is great. It's really, really good. So um, Liam, uh, Liam has bought this, the Alchemist Arsenal, which is incredible. But I think he had some of his like tailor-made and added to it all and it's really really cool see they've got so much good see Tim really likes his healer stuff obviously these are good oh my god he's actually a proper back backpack and stuff that's amazing single potion holders 
loads of great stuff. So he Tim caters for lots of different areas within the game as well. So it's really really cool. And the good thing as well is that Tim's quite active in the Discord um, as well. So if you at him, he generally jumps in and he has a little chat with you about stuff, and then he does then he does it. So because I've approached him about doing uh, giveaways and stuff like that, and he came up with a couple of ideas for me. He gave me a little bit of a discount uh, because of it. And then he actually took it on and he's now selling that set on the website. So I take full, you know, full responsibility for that. But that was very, very early hefty A stuff. So let's have a look. Costume. So belt, body, head, legs. See, so does... I thought Darkblade did a... Um, like a nation-specific... stuff okay let's go here that's nice I really like that I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I've seen um yeah they do a start set as well um I'm pretty sure that I've seen someone wearing this out in the field so a look so yeah so the the specials so they did the I don't think it's a, any kit or anything it's just like packs of stuff jeez look at that really nice stuff uh, isn't your head green black it's from Dublin. it's nice so yeah, so he does really good stuff. Right, we'll go we'll go back to the beginning. So we'll go to Epic Armory. Let's have a look at what they've got. <sighs> Looks nice. Stronghold. Peasant dress. Gift cards. Yeah. Looks really nice. Okay. Clothing. This is cool. Nice and simple, really. So even down to like having the kids stuff set up separately as well. Tabards, tunics. I don't know what their money they're costing like fifteen quid. As that kids. So if I was looking for my size, look away everybody, don't look at me. Um, okay. Thirty five quid you're looking at top end. Nice little bit of a sale going on for some of it. That's not too bad, is it, really? Um Moon got some lovely armor from Darkblade after winning a voucher. Oh, of course you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. You won that. You won that voucher, didn't you? Um, uh, I had it super well. Got it back in twenty ten. Uh, man, I love that Epic Armory cape. I should go and have a look at the capes. <laughs> oh, this one, Aramis. Um, I'd like to see more sites doing more, um, more money LARP gear too for the future LARP post-apocalyptic stuff. Yeah, I think post-apocalyptic stuff is, seems to be coming more into uh, call uh, these days, doesn't it? Because I know Wasteland was a thing. I don't know if that's going to be running anymore. I don't know because I know you used to do um, do more our oh, modern LARP gear. That's cool. 65 quid for a cape. But I will say that I don't think these will keep you very warm. So it's 30 quid. Thirty quid for this. It's only in small. 
So, for <laughs> 35 inches, I'm guessing. Yep, 35 inches or a 27 inch waist. It'll barely go around my leg. So, but still, that's for someone, Abby, I'm thinking that would work. That would be quite nice. Oh, they got they do some nice stuff. Let's have a look at their. Do they have a? Um, okay, let's have a look at their metal armor. So chainmail. See, it's not bad. But no, epic. Uh, if you want chainmail, go to uh, armchair armories. Torso. Ooh. she looks like she woke up on the side of the road and she's then turned up in armour on a catalogue in, in an ideal world I'd love to be doing stuff like that post-apocalyptic stuff, starter kits and whatnot. it's just not feasible for me as a single maker sadly Ah, uh, yeah, uh, Gulag. Yeah, Gulag is LARP on hard mode. <laughs> brutal one. Absolutely brutal one. Oh. It's an interesting helmet. Hmm, they do some nice stuff. Don't know. So I think because I'm going to try to get through some some more of this, uh, the one thing we'll do. They seem to have got the. They seem to be doing like um, the unisex stuff, the male and uh, female presenting as well, pretty good. Um, so what's this one? Leonardo Carboni or Leonardo Carbone. Um, breastplates need much better scouts for their arms they will batter you uh, fighting in them yeah uh, Gulag is a post-apocalyptic setting in the last of us style mushroom zombies like 70 hours time in yep so this is one that um, I was having a chat with Abby about a lot of stuff because she's like um, my my twitch my my, my my advisor when it comes to a lot of stuff uh, for for doing the online things and um, she told me about this one because I had no idea um, it's really nice look at this oh wow oh page mm -hmm. page cannot be found this is a good start okay so that looked really good, but now we're seeing Matt Pennington at like 15 years old or 20 years old there. That's, um, that's, that's definitely a look. Oh, I wanted to see that tunic. Oh, there it is. Jesus. Viking tunic, freaky, with hand, hand embroidery. That is stunning. Look at that. Yes, so yeah, 70 euro for this. Uh, yeah, 70 euros for this. That's, um, that's a lot. That is a hell of a lot. But that's really nice though. I do like that a lot. Uh, let's have a look at their sales, see what they've got going on. Lambskin products. Dress, pouches. There you go. Medieval half boots. Siggy, Sigurd. 
Oh, these turned up. Uh, and an axe handle made uh, from a broken branch. Nice, very pretty. Stunning. Uh, Whittled in the dark by a blind man. Mm. Uh, I got mine from a reseller in 35. It wasn't as fancy as that one, though. These are these are nice, though. I do like these. See what accessories they've got. Uh, clasps and brooches. Okay. Yeah. Oh, it's a rhino. Oh my god. That's so cool. Drinking horns and accessories. See, the drinking horns are nice if you can drink from them properly. You, you see too many people for the first time they drink from a drinking horn and it goes like that and it just goes everywhere. It's really fun to watch. But this is beautiful. I like this site. I've decided. This is my first proper time looking at this site as well. These are very expensive footwear though. Hundred euros. Jeez. Very nice though. Very nice. Got to get the twist in the horn. Mm. Yes, I definitely have never done that. I have. Yes. Um, you've got to quaff with a drinking horn. Mm. Drinking horns are awesome, but awkward if you need to put it down. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's why I use a tankard. Ideas for gifts. So the pouches. That's nice. Oof. A hundred euro for a hero belt. See, that's something that I really need is a hero belt. Um, but I'm a bit of a skinflint. I'm not really wanting to pay out a hundred quid for something like that. So, got to quaff and sing loudly. Mm. See, I was lucky enough in my secret Santa, uh, I was given a drinking horn. So, I will be bringing that to LARP with me. Uh, it will never come out with me though drinking. It will always stay at my, at the at the hall, because I lose so many tankards, so many of them. It's like an, a daily thing, uh, where I have to constantly replace a tankard. Uh, Safe's done some great hero belts. Um, I might have to. I'll have a chat with them about a hero belt because. I do need one. I would like one to sort of hold the gut in place. A tankard for every day and a horn for Sunday best. You know me too well, Andy. Um, so there's loads. This is a really nice one. So this is Leonardo Carbone. Um, uh, Barrett Loxford Joust do a pint of cider and a horn for, f uh, for four quid free if you can finish it in under 30 seconds. Most people just pour it all over the face. Uh, then you are the wasp's best friend. Yeah. Uh, I've just done one for Big Has. Uh, hero belts are big and clever. Yeah. I need one to cover my gut. So I think my hero belt would have to be like 30 centimetres uh, wide, tall. And then like eight foot around. Just, you know, cover me in a tent. Ooh, Dark Blade hero belt. Oh, I just closed up Dark Blade. I'll have, a, I'll have to have a look again. But this is a really nice place. Doesn't look like they do armor or anything though, so that's that's fine. So I believe because I um Abby told me about this place, and I think it was because someone she knew bought a dress for them. Oh, the dresses aren't even loading up. Oh, there we go. See, that's a fearsome hat. Oh, look at that horsey. Sixty-five euros. They're loving that tree. So yeah, there's loads of stuff. It's a nice variety as well, I think. 
Um, uh, Dark Blades are a whole bunch and for cheaper than I could. I'll go back to Dark Blade in a a little bit then. So, so yeah, this is this is another site. So Leonardo Carbone or Carbone, however you want to talk about them. Um, no, I don't want to do that. Holy Clothing. This is another one. Tops, dresses, cloaks, outerwear, innerwear, chemises, skirts. If that's snowing, she's not prepared for the snow. The pants. Uh, I'm not having trouble drinking from a horn, except maybe after I've already indulged in some of the alcohol inside it. <laughs> so, what have we got then? So this looks like this is mainly for women, I think. I don't know. Uh, so let's go through their new stuff and then we can get an idea of what they're like. So this is an American, American company by the looks of things. So some of it could be useful for LARP. Um, I don't know what the quality will be like, but I mean, they're getting a lot of five star reviews here. So I don't know if um, if anyone's bought any stuff from Holy Clothing at all. Because I'm obviously not going to be an expert on women's clothing, I guess. Um, no, that can go away. But it looks really nice. It's very pretty stuff. Holy clothing stuff is very pretty, very light, very flowy, nice for summer. I'd have had to hem mine, uh, and I'm quite tall. Some of those dresses do look gorgeous. I just hope they can hold up. Yeah. Um, I don't know how washable it is. Yeah. I, th I think that could be the thing. But this is, this is another place that people can come and... They seem to have a lot of the sizes sorted out as well. So... That's nice. Uh, Andrecor. This looks interesting. What's the leather? Makeup for monsters. Uh, ice axe. Boots. A bloody scab. It doesn't really look like a scab. It looks more like an entire face. Like fell off a motorbike or something. Armor belt. Hmm, looks interesting. LARP weapons. Right. Let's let's go and have a look at some LARP weapons, shall we? Uh, the three XL is slightly. Um, it's the size of my sizing is generous. The three XL is slightly larger than me. Thanks. I was hoping it would be generous. So foam weapons. Oh. Mm. Does this look molded? This does, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's go for the armor. Let's have a look at armor. This is what we like. Brigantine, 200 euros. Leather grease. See, this looks quite nice. Leather arm with shoulders. This doesn't look so, doesn't look too bad at all, does it? That's nice. Leather arm with shoulders, Dragon Rider. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh, thanks. More bits, Joe. That's awesome. Hi, Nexus. I hope you're all doing all right. So, this armor. I have seen this armor advertised elsewhere. There is a certain website that 
actively steals people's work and ideas and stuff like that. This is the original. This is where it's come from. That is amazing. That is this is really really nice. Uh, so it's all leather. It's the back. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous. I like the red. I must admit. I do like that a lot. Uh, size. Right, so XL is suitable for people over 1.95 meters tall with a chest circumference between us. So, what's 135 centimeters in inches? So, chat, tell me 135 centimeters in inches because I don't think I'd ever be able to fit into this. Um, yeah, and you know it's going to look like it too. Uh, unlike that website that will not be named, no. Google says 53 and a bit inches. I won't be able to fit into that. It doesn't fit around my manly chest. To be honest, I probably wouldn't be able to fit my arms and shoulders through that, so. Um, but that's really, really nice. I haven't seen that in a field, but 250 euro, that's quite a lot. So let's have a look at that plate. <laughs> oh, that armor always make that sort of armor always makes me chuckle when I see it with the six pack on it and stuff like that. Um, nor I, unfortunately, no, Andy. It, it that that sort of armor isn't made for for people like us. So that's quite nice. He looks confused. What am, I, what am I doing here? See, these are the sort of bog standard generic. Um, you can get this uh, sort of the stuff of braces and greaves um, pretty much everywhere. Um, and they're, they're worth it. They're really well made, really well put together. They hold up. Um, I've painted mine, so um, I use a six pack armor for Grendel. Nice, nice. So I've I've painted mine black um, because it just suits my character. But they're really nice. They're 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 cheap. They they're worth having and stuff like that. So it's a nice basic bit of armor as well. Death Knight armor set. Oh, hello. So I just don't think I'd wear that bit. That's quite nice. That's quite nice, that. Jeez, 700 euro. But that's a full set of armor, isn't it? Um, what did I paint them with? Um, uh, metal paint. I can't remember what it's called. Shite. What's it called? Chat. What do you use to paint my paint armor with? Oh my god, my brain's gone. It's like fallen out of my ass. Hammerite. That's the one. That's what I. That's what I use. You get like a small tin of hammerite. A, and a brush, yes. Um, yeah, small tin of hammerite is like a fiver. Um, if you're using hammerite to paint anything, you're pretty much gonna lose that brush as well. You won't get that brush back. So, um, garments. Let's have a quick look. Garments for for women. So I have to admit, there's part of me that was just thinking, okay, um, that all you'd see in, because women who do these sorts of things, you always get the stigma 
from people who make armor and kit and costume and stuff like that is that all they want is like give them a corset give them and give them this dress let's see a bit of cleavage please and that's it so it's nice to see all of this sort of stuff this is really really cool that's nice i do like that that whole outfit that's cool Corsets and armoured boobs. Exactly. Exactly, Kappa. Uh, right, let's, let's go on. So what's next? Medieval collectibles. Eras and cultures. Categories. Right, let's have a look at armour. No? Doesn't want to show me armour? Oh, there we go. Decorative armor, functional armor, leather armor, polyurethane armor, hounds, shields, female armor, and leather armor. What is that? Okay, let's. Um, fear the combat boons. Uh, that's fine if that's your thing. I love corsets too, but I want more variety than that, please. 100%. Oh my god. We got the boob armor back. Bodies, so that's nice. So it's nice to see the armor where they've actually put a bit of effort into like engraving it and stuff like that. See, this is the same sort of armor from the other site, so they, they might have the same supplier. That's all right. We'll ignore the other one. Yeah, there's some nice stuff there. It's <laughs> thinking. Ooh. Oh. Oh wow, that's amazing. Not really useful for Empire at all, but that's amazing. Um, there's a spot in my heart for the Arm Street Lady Armour. Yeah, it looked... Uh, so look, armour suits. This? Oh, yes. Yeah, this stuff is absolutely stunning. I, I saw something on um, Facebook where someone was talking about um, there was a, a model who was wearing um, a set and basically it had all been portrayed as this is all steel and stuff like that um, but you could actually see it bending in certain places and basically it turned out that they were just lying about some stuff I don't know who that had come from, but this, look at this, holy fuck knuckle, that is absolutely amazing. These options, I can, this is incredible. Well, you know what needs to happen. If I, I get to a point where I have that much money coming into the stream, then I would happily pay that out to give to give someone this armor. Three and a half grand. Dark Star armor, the Morning Star stuff too. This is that's absolutely stunning. Morning Star. Ooh. Yeah, look at this. Wow. Hmm. 
I like the fact that it's it all looks very very practical as well it doesn't look like she'd struggle to move around in it and uh, multi-part torso a breastplate uh, and fold with tassets yes uh, there's a better picture of it wasn't there yeah so yeah you can see all of this multi-part yeah husband face you've hit the nail on the head that's abs this armor is absolutely stunning oh to have three and a half grand <laughs> though <laughs> um it's armor for ladies right not lady armor yes uh when you put that on you involuntarily shout glory for no reason doesn't it though there's much room for a gabison under it though um i think isn't that what the red thing is isn't that so there might be one it just looks a little bit yeah oh yeah add shipping and tax so shipping 273 dollars Oh, uh, to you know, three hundred dollars to the United Kingdom. Who knows with Brexit? Who knows with Brexit? Um, so you buy it. It's going to take fifty-six to sixty-three days to make, and then well, an extra ten days on top of that. So you're looking at three, three and a half months. Um, after you have form for making this. Uh, shipping costs as the whole cost uh, go to HMC don't sting you from my tax um, I can easily see Joe dr drinking through a straw while wearing that yeah this is amazing shield maiden She looks so bored. See, that's nice. Oh, I like the fur. Uh, I think you have form for making the ship, uh, making this shipping cost as the whole cost. Oh, for marking the shipping cost as a whole cost. So the HMH uh, RMT don't sting you for tax. Okay. Uh, she's very slender, but there is padding underneath that. Uh, I'd love plate armor. Oh, wow, they do leather too. Mm. See, these, this is Prince of the East. This is quite nice. That's nice. Did we check this one? Oh, it's both of them. Threatening her with a sword just because she nicked the chair. It's a shame. But look. There you go. Stunning. Absolutely amazing. It's beautiful. Um, I want to give her an affordable plate. Yeah, definitely. Thought one of those people uh, was surfing for a second, but I think they were just running in the shadows. Uh, musical chairs goes wrong. Yeah, for all uh, my people looking for a cheap outfit to play, uh, go to Forge of Sven. Hmm. So and then there's this guy. Way too much hair gel. That's nice. How much is that? Oof. Jeez. So expensive. But it'd be well worth it though, wouldn't it? Be well worth it. Oh my god. Right. Let's uh Yeah, it kind of yeah, kind of defeats the the outfit now, doesn't it? Looking at at that oh dear there is some truly amazing stuff there
absolutely beautiful. Uh, there's so much, but I do get the feeling they're worth it. Uh, look how much more detailed in so many sets you see and so static, hard to move in. The R Street ones are obviously well articulated. Yeah. Yep, definitely. There's there's so much. I think the the reason I wanted to do this this stream was that so we could all people could sit down and we could have a look at all of these different sites that are out there. Um they're very different. Some of these sites are incredibly different, but there's also some of these sites that are in they 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 don't understand the audience that they're trying to get stuff across to either i feel so like with all the empire stuff they've got the groups all set up and it's like you've thrown all the same stuff into all of it but you just put it all into a different order so there's that problem but i think that what they could do is we'll contact them and then we can go there um so i i think that um I heard that Arm Street stuff can be thin, but I've never seen any in person to judge it. No, no, nor me. But there's nothing stopping us from contacting these people just to ask questions and we can get some answers. And then we can put that back out there. So, um, Arm Street gear can be heavy. When we asked Arm Street about weight, we were told that the Paladin set size for a 5 foot 3, 50 kilogram lady uh, would weigh 42 kilograms. Turns out stainless is much heavier than spring steel. Wow. But and you would need two, three people helping you put all that armor on as well. My arm street pieces are pretty chunky. That's amazing. So, but I think I think this has been this has been quite nice to do to go through and have a look at it all because the armor standards out there is Jesus Christ. It's amazing and getting to see everything like that is absolutely awesome. So there's so much kit out there. And there's so many sites that you can see that you can look at for armor, for your gambesons, for your tunics, your trousers, and all that sort of stuff. I mean, I haven't really seen. I didn't out of all of those websites that we went through. I didn't look at one and think, "Oh, don't use them. Don't go there. Don't don't use this lot at all." I haven't thought that about anyone. I think a lot of stuff is left to your imagination. I think a lot of stuff is down to you to decide what is um, best for you at the end of the day. If I put on some arm street gear, I'd break the earth's crust. <laughs> for those who don't know um, Andy, Andy's not small. You're, he's six foot six, I wanna say. I don't think you're as tall as Justin six foot six and six foot four not small so he's a big guy he's bulky as well big guy so yeah he's um yeah so it'd be the same for me put that sort of stuff on would end up i am chonk <laughs> so yeah so there's plenty there uh buns under 30 welcome Welcome. Welcome to uh, the Hefty Fan. Yeah, so, I mean, it's been good to, to go through everything, to have a look at it all. I think it would be worth doing... <clears throat> I think it would be worth doing another... Um, another stream where we look at uh, all the all the LARP weapons and, and things like that as well. I think that would be pretty good. Um to get people to to show off all of these sorts of things and and get an idea uh, for what's out there and costings and stuff because a lot of people when they come into the discord um they they people a lot of people ask the same sort of questions where would you recommend for armor where would you recommend for um, base layers where would you recommend for weapons and, and all of this sort of stuff so um, pro tip before you order off the rack items online Send the retailer an image asking um, if the items in your size are in stock. That way you can dodge heartbreak and weed out places with bad customer service. Uh, like a certain notorious UK re retailer with a store. Um, yeah, Viking store. They're shit. Don't ever go there. Don't use them. They're a bunch of pricks. Um, so, yeah. Uh, even if you go in there, apparently, they're very, very rude. But 
Yeah, there's a thing. Um, no issue with calling out people like that. So yeah, don't use them. Don't just don't use them. Um, ask in the Discord for help and advice because that's what we're here for. Um, we'll do another stream where we go through. We're going to have a look at a lot of weapons and <sighs> fauna over all of the LARP weaponry out there. I think we'll do we'll do it and we'll look at all the um, calcium ale stuff as well. Um, just because weapon designers few and far between and um, they're great to see how talented these people are so yeah so we'll do that in the future um, thanks everybody for coming along to watch uh, another stream it's been really nice to jump back into uh, talking about LARP again uh, I'd love to design some things for weapon designers when you contact them them but there's nothing there's no harm in saying would you allow me to do this so you could then perhaps use it on your store so um yeah so it's been nice to do another larp to get back into larp streaming again oh steve before you go we're making you wait um so yeah there's there's plenty of stuff out there and it's really really nice to see um and hopefully if we see uh we have to meet up with the campfire uh now we can this is true um is it six people outside at the moment isn't it and then it'll be in 12 days it'll be 17 people outside or something like that no the 17th and then it goes to 30 people outside and then we've all got hefty con so yeah so uh, i think it's aiden and his plus three is now the they've now moved into the meetup as well so as i said if you haven't put your name down on the Hefticon thing, you need to go and fill your details out there. So I, th I think husband, face, and dawn. I think we need you to. I think you're on that list of people who haven't so far. Um, I can't remember the others. Um, but yeah. So yes, we will, Andy. We will have to get something sorted to go and meet up by a fire and go and sit down and stuff. Um, I'm not either. When are you free next? I have no idea. <laughs> to be honest, but we'll have to have a catch up on discord and we'll have a chat um but yeah so thanks everyone for watching everyone take care and look after yourselves uh lockdown's coming to an end but it doesn't mean that we stop looking after each other so i was in a foul mood before this i'm in a much better mood now so thank you everyone for coming along chatting let me talking at you and stuff like that so yeah much much appreciated uh, take care of yourselves, stay safe, look after each other, much love, and uh, we'll see you all soon. Take care. Remember everything we have, every breath of this place.